Welcome back to Track Talk here on Sports Radio 18 WHB and RB in the Racing Boys Broadcasting Network. I'm Scott Trailer in the McCarthy Auto Group studio. Find out more about McCarthy Auto Group at kccars.com. Joining us now on the show is a two-time winner of the Chili Bowl Midget Nationals. Picked up his second win Saturday night. Rico Abreu joins us now on the show. Rico, how you doing, bud? Scott, thanks for having me on, man. Uh, I appreciate it, but I know you're getting pulled in all kinds of directions with the announcement of NASCAR. It's media week down there. You're coming off the heels of this second Chili Bowl. It's kind of a whirlwind tour for you right now, isn't it? No, it's, it is. it is. It's exciting, though, and I enjoy doing interviews like this, uh, especially guys who cover, you know, the open-wheel racing and, and still, uh, you know, do a lot for our sport. Uh, it's, it's pretty cool, uh, you know, that I've won the Chili Bowl twice now, and uh, hopefully I can get a third one. Yeah. Well, let's uh, let's step back to Saturday. First of all, prelim night. Now, is I'm trying to figure out, did you win prelim night? Uh, in 2015, did you win your prelim? I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Yes, I did. And and honestly, I won it the same exact way uh, on my prelim night and uh, won Saturday night almost the same way as well. Uh, starting off the front row of our, my heat races and qualifiers and uh, started six both years in my on my prelim night and uh, <laughs> wow. drove to the lead. Uh and, and and won both of those prelim nights. So it's pretty, uh, you know, really crazy how all that uh, played out. Yeah. And uh, and it's just it's just a, to go back and think about it is it's unbelievable. You think about this, you've won four A mains in a row at the Chili Bowl. That's pretty impressive stuff, right there. Yes. Yeah. It yeah. is. And and I've won I've won uh, I, you know two heat races in a row and two qualifiers in a row. So right. the only thing I've lost is the race of champion. Well, well, we'll get you in that and maybe get you to victory lane uh, next year on that. Rico, let's talk about the Saturday night's race. Uh, you started for second row outside. And let me just say, before the race started, I told everybody down there that was listening, I want to take, uh, take a little note of this, that I thought that Christopher would be out in the lead, that you would run him down and you would pass him at lap 40. I, I predicted that before the race. It was, I was pretty close. It was lap, I think, 45 when you took the lead, but it was Brian Clawson. You started fourth, but you faded, Rico. You went back to seventh. What was going on there? Um, you know, the, I just got a little impatient uh, when I got to third, uh, and the track was so green there, that those first 25 laps, that they were, those guys were just really hammering the bottom, and I was trying to get a lane going up top, and it just never seemed to get going until... Uh, probably lap 32, lap 33 when I looked up on the board. And uh, once it got going, uh, you know, McCready and Alex Bright and Dom got by me. And then the top got going and...